Hello friends, Jeff here. Uh, we're going to do another story time today. And this particular story took place about three or four years ago. I used to have a car that was a uh, 2004 Chrysler Sebring. And there was one particular moment uh, when I had that car uh, that I... Uh, really sticks out in my brain and I'm going to talk about that today. So basically, uh, you know, one day it was about this time of year, like May, you know, springtime. It was warm outside, but not too hot. So, you know, I'm cruising around with the windows down, don't need the AC quite yet. And I decided it was a nice day. I needed to get my car washed. So I go through uh, one of those automatic car washes, as you might see in the uh, background here. And anybody who's been through one of those knows that you have to keep the windows rolled up or else the inside of your car gets soaking wet. I'm in line, I'm just sitting there, hanging out, waiting, you know, listening to the radio, and suddenly it's my turn. I pay the attendant, I go into the car wash, everything's lined up, ready to go. Water starts pouring down. Well, after about 30 seconds or so inside the car wash, I realize it's getting pretty damn warm inside my car. I flip on the air conditioner, and just as I flip it on, I turn on the fan to blow the cold air, Immediately, I am met with the nastiest, stinkiest, just grossest smell I've ever smelled in my life. And it smelled like pure death. I had no idea what this was. I shut off the air conditioner, and I am about to throw up. I am <laughs> sitting in my car, and after about... 30 seconds or so, I can't take it anymore. So I start scrambling around my car, just looking for something that I can vomit into. I can't roll down the windows or else I'm gonna get soaking wet and covered in soap and hot wax. So the only thing that I find, 20 ounce cup or whatever you get from McDonald's. So I just, just Ralph into it. I'm sorry if that sounds graphic, but that's what happened. Finally, I get out of the car wash. I get to the end. As soon as I pull out of it, like I didn't even get out of the way. I stop, I jump out of my car, and I threw up again. I take this cup of puke, there's a trash can right there, I throw it in there, and I'm, I'm sick at this point. I do not feel good, and my car smells so bad. After a couple minutes, you know, I see another car starting to come through the car wash, I realize I gotta get out of the way. Once I get home, I go ahead and I flip on the air conditioner again, and I realize the stink is still coming out. So my next course of action is to tear apart the heater uh, for my car. I get online, I check out a couple diagrams how to do this. Very easy job. Up underneath the dashboard on the passenger side, there's an access panel and when you take off three screws, you can drop the whole heater fan right out and then you can get in there and look around. I pull the heater fan out and when I do so, I am met with a dead chipmunk. Inside the heater fan, a round fan compartment, there is a dead chipmunk laying in there. And there's acorns, there's fur, there's all kinds of random nastiness. I just, I threw up again. I couldn't help it. I, I leaned out of my car and I just let it rip. It was the grossest, stinkiest thing. How long it's been in there, I don't know. I hadn't smelled anything before that, but never turned on my air conditioner that particular spring either up until that point. And I obviously didn't have to use my heater for the last few weeks. So within the last couple of weeks, there was this chipmunk laying in there, right? So I clean it out. It's, <laughs> it's so bad. And I, I clean out the heater fan. I look at the fan. The blades are all chewed up on it. I realize then I need a new one. As I'm cleaning it out, I reach up under the dash into the hole where the heater fan is uh, located. And when I reached up in there, I was met with something else pretty gross. I felt something in there, and I just went for it. I reach in, I grab it, and I pull it out, and it is another chipmunk dead lying in there. So yes, I had two dead chipmunks inside of the heater of my car on a hot summer day when I really needed the air conditioner to work inside of a car wash, and it was pretty much the grossest, nastiest thing I ever dealt with in my entire life. So the moral of this story is pretty clear. Before you use a car wash, make sure your air conditioner is working just fine, and, uh, you know, make sure there's no dead animals in there. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. I want to throw up just thinking about it, and I kind of hope that you do too. Thanks for joining me here on Storytime. Have a great day. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please be sure to hit the thumbs up below. That helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make sure to hit the little bell icon so you can be notified of all of our upcoming videos. Thanks a lot.